G'day guys, Wayne here, down here in central Otago, nice winter's day, I've um, got the sunnies on, it's not because I'm trying to look cool, it's just that I don't see very well so they help me, and the looking cool is just a really good byproduct of it, as I'm sure you'll all agree. Hey, just recently I've invented this solar submersible pump float, we're taking it up to Mystery Creek, um, we're going to throw it in the water now and hopefully the damn thing floats but we'll find out. I'm just going to show you now what it's like, what it's made of. I'll just use this Allen key to, to unbolt these. It's made of some layers of PE closed cell foam, which floats obviously. And it's also made of some filter foam, which doesn't float and it's open cell, so the water just comes into it. And the whole idea of it is that there's lots of places where we sell these submersible pumps and the clients just want to be able to float them. Um, in a pond or in a stream or whatever and so this makes it easy you just throw the pump into this float throw it out there and, and it'll just float the rationale behind it why I've done it the way I have is so that it not only floats but the foam gives us filtration so you can keep any leaves and muck on the outside and also protects it if something was to come down and hit it so basically I'm just going to take the, the top of this out of it now just move that there off it so that's what it is, there's a submersible pump, that's a um, P PSP 100, so that'll pump to 100 metre head, that one there. And basically, it's just layers of foam, it's in there with foam at the bottom. Okay, so when you're, when you're putting it in, pop that gear up into it, drop the pump into it, and screw it back up. It does right itself, eh? Yep. That's perfect. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Look at that. 